What's up guys, it's JZNES back again to talk about some Star Fox today. Some Star Fox temperatures. No, we're not talking about that game. We're talking about Star Fox 3D, uh, 64 3D, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's a lot of numbers there in that one title. Star Fox 64 3D, which is a remake of this guy right here, Star Fox 64. And this is my original Star Fox 64 from back in the day. Uh, now, as you may or may not know, if you watch the channel, I probably mentioned it before, but my very first system I bought with my own money was the N64 back in the day, and that is primarily because uh, I used to like uh, go over to these people's uh, babysitter, basically house or whatever, the daycare, you know, that kind of thing. But it was at these people's houses or what house or whatever, and. Um, the kids there, they had an N64, and so I always used to play all the N64 games with them. You know, Mario Party 2, Smash Brothers. Uh, I watched, one of the very first games I ever watched this guy play through was uh, Ocarina of Time, before we started playing as a, you know, as a, a group or whatever. Uh, we watched him play Ocarina of Time, and it was the most mind-blowing thing ever. Hi, bud. How you doing? Um... Yeah, one of the older kids that has played through Ocarina of Time. We used to just watch him play it. And then when I got my N64, one of the first games I got was Ocarina of Time alongside uh, Mega Man 64. Um, but another really close game, probably the third game that I got, was uh, Star Fox 64. Because the older kid who played Ocarina of Time always used to play Star Fox 64 too. Uh, not Star Fox 64 too. As in T-O-O. -O, as in he also used to play that a lot. So I used to watch him play this all the time. And it looked like an awesome game, you know, and uh, it is an awesome game. Uh, Star Fox 64 is like one of my favorite, you know, old N64 games for sure. Uh, it's a tough system to say it's one of your favorite games for because there's so many fucking great games on there. But, uh, you know, you got your Zeldas and, you know, obviously Majora's Mask. It's probably my favorite N64 game. It is my favorite N64 game, not probably. But you've got Ocarina of Time. You've got uh, Star Fox 64, Smash Brothers on there is awesome. Mario Party 2 on there is awesome. You got so many great games on the 64. I don't have to tell you all of those. We're talking about Star Fox 64, but not Star Fox 64, because it's Star Fox 64 3D, which is a much better version, honestly. And I I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a, it's a better version of Star Fox 64. Now, all, all of this backstory or whatever to say that I used to play this game back in the day. It's one of my first N64 games I got, you know, probably like the third or whatever, like I said. Um, I used to play it a lot, and it was hard. I didn't even beat it until, like, fucking, like, like, college, I think. I didn't even beat it until, and, you know, so I got this game when I was, like, probably, like, 12 or something, and I didn't beat it for years and years, and probably, like, five, six... Seven, seven years after that or something. Does that, that work out? Does the math work out there? I think that works. Anyway, so I, it took me a long time to beat this game. And I wasn't actively trying or anything. But um, I, I remember when I finally did beat it. And, and then um, I remember the night that I went back through. I, I went back through for weeks and weeks trying to... I don't know if it was weeks. Maybe a week or two. Trying to get through the hard uh, path. Because... In this game, there's multiple paths. There's like an easy path. There's like a middle path that'll eventually lead you to the easier, hard ending. Um, but I was always trying to get the like the really good, the good ending, you know, where it's the hard path or whatnot. Uh, and I could never get through it because I always got stuck on um, on Venom there, on the '64 version with the space battles, fighting the the Star Wolf team, uh, because the control was not always the greatest and it wasn't always the most precise and they were always way faster and way more precise than you were able to control and kind of uh, get around and that kind of thing and that was a lot of the problem I think of the original game is that the control was really good and it was precise but it was really still like everything was so fast and it was all like, coming at you from all these different angles and you had so many specific goals Part of the branching path system is that you have to do certain things in certain levels to kind of 
progress to a certain path. Um, so let's say in the first level, there's two paths that you can do. You can um, just go straight through, or you can go through these like um, what do you call them, like loops or whatever that are made out of the mountains. And if you go through them in a specific pattern, Falco will be like, "That's a pretty smooth flying fox" or whatever, and then um, that's your cue that you're on track to the getting on the hard path. Uh, versus just the easy path and there's there's so many little things like this you have to do throughout each level there's um of course the infamous M Macbeth uh, where you either have to destroy the robot which is actually takes you down the easy path which is stupid because it's way harder to destroy the robot than it is to just shoot the little signs or whatever um or you shoot the the switches is what they're called the switches if you shoot the switches you actually can go on the hard path then and you get sent to uh hard venom versus easy venom basically so yeah it's um it's pretty cool the branching path system you know there's a lot of things there uh sometimes it's just little arbitrary things like you know kill 100 enemies in this in like the second stage on the hard path or whatever so you can get to aquas which is the only level that uses the the submarine thing um i didn't actually go to aquas this time that's one of like a few levels that i missed I tried to go, I went through twice, I went through, did the hard path, I was on track with an easy path actually, and I went uh, kind of through the middle, I think it was literally just that Macbeth, I just went through that, and then to, went to the hard path to win, and then um, I went the other way, I went, try, I kind of went on the hard path, and then kind of steered back towards the easy path, um, not, not on purpose, pretty much by accident, just to kind of get both endings or whatnot and uh go through both paths and so um so yeah like w what i noticed though was the game is significantly easier than the uh n64 version and they have two modes in here uh well first of all they have well i'll talk about the two modes and i'll talk about that but they they have two modes they have a 3ds mode and an n64 mode and i think the n64 mode is a little bit harder um because I definitely felt it was like a little bit harder when I was going through it or whatnot, but it wasn't that much harder. Um, granted, that's when I actually branched off to go to the easy path after going through some middle stage paths. So, you know, I, I think it probably is harder, and that's what that's all about. Um, but the 3DS one, the 3DS path, or the, the, the path, um, 3DS option, it's like the newest version story. This is like the... It's like a remade version in a sense. They're both the remake. They're both the same thing. It's just one is more difficult than the other. It's, a, it's like a hard and easy mode kind of thing. But, um... So, yeah. Like, basically, you, you can choose either one, and it really doesn't matter. The only other thing that I may have noticed, and I don't know if this is just me, like, you know, seeing being delusional, and I, I went on a different path, so I got different dialogue options and stuff. Dialogue options. I always say that dialogue. I got different dialogue uh, through the story, but the N sixty four version when I when I on the three DS. This is where it gets super confusing. The option for the N sixty four when I went through that, I felt like the dialogue was more true to the N sixty four dialogue, but then like the way they were reading the lines and stuff. Because when I went through on the three DS option, it it was clearly they had changed the dialogue. But I still felt like some of the stuff on the N64 one was still changed dialogue. Like, the, they reread the lines and whatnot. So it's just like, I don't know, it just seemed odd. But but I, maybe I, I just kind of noticed that it was maybe a little bit more in line with, like, the dialogue from the N64. Like, that's, that's one of my biggest criticisms of the game. The game is, like, a vastly superior version to the N64 version because it controls so much better. And because um, they've made all these quality of life improvements, they've added stuff, they've added like these medals and whatnot. I know there was medals in the original, but I'm pretty sure they added more of those kind of things. And um, you get a lot of more content here. They get the battle battle mode, which you did have in the original, but um, you know it's just better in this version. It just controls better and whatnot, um, which makes the game a little bit easier. To, to be fair, sure, but so you have the hard mode as well. So that's kind of cool. So. It all balances out, I guess. But the one thing that the the 3DS kind of lacks is the um, the dialogue has all been re reread, 
which to somebody like me who's played the N64 version, I'm very particularly attached to that dialogue, you know, because it's cheesy and it's silly and it's like, you know, um, just the way they re read the lines were like is really funny, but like they changed a few things like um, Falco used to say, hey Einstein, I'm on your side. And it was like, it was funny the way you read the line and whatnot. It was just hilarious. And you know, you'd always get a good laugh out of lines like that. But and this time he says, hey genius, I'm on your side. And it just sounds like really stupid and, and different. And it, it sounds like they're trying to be funny, but they're like obviously not succeeding because the charm of the original was that they were just like, you know, being really campy with it. But this time, I, I don't know. It's just... It doesn't really line up with the original dialogue, but you kind of get used to it. It's not terrible. It works, and it's uh, still you still get a lot of the same lines and stuff. It's just they've made little tweaks like that that like didn't really need to be made. Um, but if they put the same, I, I mean, honestly, if they put the same dialogue from the N64 version, like quality and all, into the game, I would have been fine with that. But uh, you know, I can see to where they're trying to make it bigger and better and that kind of stuff so i'm gonna put the game over here because you, you can sit there that's good um so that's fine i mean you know that's just a little thing um i'm kind of glad that gameplay wise you know it, it's it's a lot better um not that the original was bad in the slightest i tried to play it more recently on emulation so i, I used a ps3 controller and that was a little tough but um it, don't get me wrong the game the the like, the control in the game is pretty good, especially for the time, um, the 64 version, that is. But the the difficulty is certainly much higher than this version. It's it's so much harder. Um, but, you know, like, I, I, I think that's a good thing in a sense. But also, I think, I mean, it makes you feel more accomplished and whatnot. But also, just replaying it on this version, I'm like, man, this is the definitive version other than the dialogue stuff. You know, like... It just felt definitive to me, like, like, like I don't know if I'd really go back to the N64 version too much. Um, it, it, to the point where me and my friend have a list of games that he needs to play kind of thing. Um, and I think Star Fox 64 is on there. I was thinking about while I was playing the game, I'm like, maybe I should just let him play the 3DS one. And I'll just sit here and kind of like look over his shoulder the whole time because... It's the better version, and I think he'll appreciate it more. Um, another thing that they added was a save feature to where between levels it saves, and, like, so you don't have to do the whole thing in one go. I did the whole thing in one go both times. Uh, spent, like, maybe three or four hours, probably three, three or so, three and some change hours um, messing around with this just tonight. Um, I, I played it back in 2013 or whatever when it came out. I think that's when it came out, right? Pretty sure it was 2013 because I was going on a trip and I remember playing it on a train. Oh yeah, I think it came out in 2011 actually. So um, when I had my original 3DS in 2013, um, I say train, I meant plane. By the way, <laughs> when I was thinking of plane, um, I played it on there. Is that 2013? No, because my brother would have been with me that time. I don't know. Maybe I was playing it. Maybe not. Sometime when I took a plane, uh, not a train, but a plane, I was playing this game, and I do remember that. Maybe that was... No, I feel like it must have been. I don't know. Anyway, I remember playing through it back then, and I was kind of having a tough time with it. Um, because I think what ended up happening was I was using the gyro control, which I don't recommend doing. I would recommend turning that off and just using the regular control. I know that kind of was like the gimmick at the time and I'm like oh gyro control this is gonna be awesome and it's like no it kind of sucks uh, compared to the like tight fluid control that this this version offers like I'm serious like this game is never controlled better like I'm not saying something like even the like like Ocarina of Time and stuff on the 3DS like you know it's still kind of the same control in a sense you know you have different buttons and whatnot but I mean, it controls a little bit better, but it's, like, about the same, you know what I mean? Like, but, like, this, this is, like, a big, vast improvement over, um, the original. To whereas the Ocarina of Time, it was more about the graphics and that kind of stuff. And they added a little few things. 
um, the remake to Ocarina of Time that is on the 3DS. Um, here they boosted the graphics. Those look amazing. Let me just talk about those for a second. Like on the original, there was a charm, you know, it, it was, it was a really good looking game for the N64. Um, but hell, the fucking graphics here look superb. They look so much better. They're, they're all cleaned up and they look amazing. Uh, another thing is we need this fucking game on Switch, like now, and the Ocarina of Time, and uh, maybe even Majora's Mask, if they, maybe they can fix the control on the Zora there, or whatever. But anyway, um, like seriously, the, the, the visuals are so good, but the control is just so much better as well. Like, this, like, w when I say Ocarina of Time remake, it's not really a remake, it's just like, it's almost like a remaster, you know, in a sense. Um, there are a few new things, and there's, like, some, some new stuff and whatever, but, like, seriously, this feels like a Star Fox 64, uh, remake, you know, like, that's what this is, like, they definitely improved on a lot of stuff, that it was, in the original game was, was good, but it, you know, like, it got improved, and that's awesome, and I love that, um, so much so, like I said, that I, probably call this the definitive version of Star Fox 64. One of my favorite games of all time. And obviously, it's a, definitely the best Star Fox game. I mean, I, I don't think anybody can really contest that, especially on this version. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is it's on the 3DS, you know, so if they put it on, um, if they're on Switch, that would be amazing. I'd want that so much. Uh, the 3D also is pretty good. Um, I would say that... Mario 3D Land probably had the better 3D out of all of all of the 3DS games, but uh, it looks good. I mean, I played one, I played my hard playthrough on 3D, and then the the easy playthrough I played without the 3D just to kind of compare. Um, and you can play it without the 3D, and it still looks amazing as well. So um, either way you want to do it, you know, if you're really into the 3D, go for it. If not, you know, that's cool too. Um, I feel like they kind of. Well, we gotta talk about the music, because the music is fucking legendary. <laughs> um, all the music in the original Star Fox 64 was just excellent, and it always kept you, like, really jazzed up and really, really ready to go and ready to go through the stages, and it was just, it was so epic, you know? And then they definitely, um, they've remastered it for the, uh, for the, the 3D version here, and, uh, it's, it's still, still really good. Um, I'd have to, like, compare and contrast about which ones are better, because I haven't listened to the original in, in a minute, and then, um, but it, it felt natural, it didn't feel, I didn't notice it, you know what I mean? I didn't notice the remastering of it, it felt naturally, uh, about the same, you know, in, in a sense, like, they, they didn't do it wrong, is what I'm trying to say, so that, that's good, so it, it still fit, you know, um, all the stages and whatnot. So, yeah, so that's cool. Um, I, you know, I like how Star Fox 64 is, um, like I was talking about earlier with the branching paths. Um, it's cool how you're always going to kind of have a different experience with every playthrough that you do. There's a lot of replayability to it. And then um, the other cool thing is it doesn't take you too terribly long to get through a single playthrough. Only a few hours, like tops you know like it's probably going to take you an hour and some change to get through um a playthrough of star fox 64 um so that's really cool it, it feels sort of arcadey you know in, in that sense where it's a short game but there's a lot of replayability to it um and that's something i've always appreciated about star fox 64 was just you can pick it up at any time and you can go through and depending on how good or how, how you even want to do it, you can go through whichever levels you want just by kind of doing the right objectives and going through. So you can always have kind of a different experience with Star Fox 64, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it's always going to be kind of a unique experience. And you can go whichever path you want. If you just want to take it easy or you want to go to the hard path and, you know, and all that. Um, so that's cool. I always loved, I, I always loved how... How that is. Uh, other than that, like the game is obviously it's like a like a, a shooter, like a space shooter kind of game. Um, 
it's like, you know, I feel like if they took Einhinder and put it in 3D and put it in space, uh, you know, like that or something. Man, can you, th can you imagine, like, a Star Fox game where you, like, uh, you get, like, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say where you, like, equip different weapons and stuff, like I and I do, but then I'm like, oh wait, they have that, it's called Starlink, <laughs> which is awesome, by the way, that's, that's a good game, I need to play the DLC for that, I, I'm, I'm really sad that that game bombed so hard, because I'm looking over there and my figures are all lined up on top of my Saturn games or whatever, so that's pretty cool. I did, I bought all the figures for it, I think I literally have all of the figures and all of the weapons and whatever. So that's fucked. Uh, but yeah, Starlink was really cool. But in a sense, that's kind of the game that I that I need the Star Fox series to be now. Uh, unless they're going to make something like this again, which they really haven't, as far as I know. I haven't really played that many of the other Star Fox games. I have a few of them. Uh, I've got the original, which I could never get through. I always get to kind of the end and then kind of fuck up on that one um because it just doesn't it's not controls as well or anything i actually have star fox 2 on the uh super nintendo classic so that'd be fun to play sometime uh, but i gotta get through the first one first i've got command on the ds and then i don't have the gamecube ones so i mean i know those would be the ones to get next uh but yeah, I mean, I, I love Star Fox 64. I feel like there's something else I was going to talk about about it, though. Um, so, you know, like, Space Shooter, you... Uh, another cool thing is there's these rings. Uh, you know, like Superman 64, you fly through rings. There's gold rings and there's silver rings. Silver rings give you more health. You know, they refill your health. And then gold rings, if you get three of them, you get uh, a permanent increase to your health. So it's always, like, a really cool thing to, um, you always have to kind of be looking throughout the level to get these things. There's always something to find. You know, there's always little collectibles like that and stuff. And if you get three and you've already got your max health, then you get extra lives. Uh, and that's another reason this is a really arcade uh, uh, kind of game. Because you actually have lives. I think there's, like, a continue feature and stuff. I can't really remember. I don't think there was in the original, though. There you had to, like, earn continues or something, right? Is that how that worked? I don't remember. Maybe there was just infinite continues in the original. I don't think there was, though. I think you kind of had to go through it every time, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, I mean, uh, so, well, okay, sorry, keep getting sidetracked. So, so you got those rings, you have, um, both of your wings, not rings, but wings, can uh, get damaged, and there's, like, this little thing that you can get to, like, restock on those. Um, in the original game, you had to press one of the C buttons, but um, there's Rob, like, Rob the Robot. Like, that's what they're referencing with it, but Rob is, like, this guy um, on the ship, with the Great Fox, which is your ship, um, who will send you items, like bombs and stuff. Bombs are also a thing that you can get... Um, kind of randomly throughout the, the level, but bombs, uh, he'll send you bombs and, like, health and stuff, um, in these little boxes when you press a button. It used to be a C button, and they have, they still have the C button kind of on there, so it's kind of cool, uh, visually, you know, it's kind of a cool reference to the original, but you just tap the screen, and it'll send it down for you, so that's cool. Um, you can do like flips, <laughs> doing flips and shit. But you, can, you can do like flips. You can do one where you do like a somersault. Um, and then you can do like a thing where you like turn around in the, the all range mode. Because there's all range mode and then there's like the standard levels where it's like you have to kind of like make your way through um, the stage. And you know, but all range mode you have, all range mode you have control. And that's usually when it's like a boss fight or something. Um, bosses in this game are really cool, too. Um, definitely very cool, you know. They, they had some really good concepts uh, for this game, especially. But, um, so... <laughs> oh, I love you, bud. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. What was I talking about? Boss fights. Okay, so I keep getting sidetracked. What I wanted to talk about was uh, Star Wolf. 
And so you have, like, these dog fights with, like, Star Wolf and stuff, um, which is pretty cool. There's, like, one on the easy mode where you're, like, trying to protect this base. There's one, uh, obviously the, the infamous one on Venom, uh, on the hard, hard set, hard section of Venom. Um, that's a tough one, especially on the 64 version. They're a lot easier on this version. They're not easy on this version, but they're a lot easier on this version. In the original game, they were so hard. So, huh, you know, that's ridiculous. There's like, um, there's like this one where you're like trying to um, take down this mothership on one of the levels. You're uh, fighting like a whole fleet of guys, which is pretty crazy. Um, there's some like side characters too, like uh, Bill and, and Cat. Um, I didn't see Cat on this run through because she's only in specific levels or whatever but um it's cool because like if you help them in certain levels they'll come back and help you in other levels and like depending on which one you help and then like you'll see what you'll either see cat or not or you'll see bill or not or like there's like all sorts of combinations of these things it's really interesting um so that's pretty cool there's like a lava level there's like an underwater level i talked about aquas there's a lot of levels that are in space there's like asteroid fields and that kind of stuff um there's always, there's a bunch of levels where it's like kind of like basically like you're trying to take down it's like a star wars you know thing almost that's why i'm wearing the star wars shirt because Star Fox is heavily inspired by star wars and the you know tie fighters and all that and space battles and like the death star run and stuff like you pretty much do a Death Star run, actually, in this game, like, kind of near the end. Um, and on a few levels, it actually feels like a Death Star run. But, so, yeah, this is almost like, and that's, that's kind of one of the coolest parts. It's almost like, uh, like, a, one of the best Star Wars games out there if it was a Star Wars game. But it's not, obviously, but it takes a lot of inspiration from Star Wars. It's pretty obvious. There's little lines in there and stuff that, like, reference stuff like that. Um, which is pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's just cool. So there's dog fights with Star Wolf and stuff and they're, they're, they're a good antagonistic team. Um, they're always a challenge to fight off. Um, I didn't, I didn't actually end up killing them at the base, but I ended up obviously killing them on Venom, uh, to progress to the, the end. Um, but yeah, it's just like. All of the levels have, like, this progression, too. It's, like, once you get near the end, it's, it's, like, this epic, like, you have to, like, make your way through, like, a fuck ton of guys and, like, giant fleets of shit, like, um, on the hard side and stuff. It's just really cool. It's, like, really epic. Um, it's, like, a bunch of cool levels in this game. So the level design is definitely awesome. So, like, really the only problem with the 3DS version is the dialogue. Which is ironically something that the uh, the N64 version kind of nailed was the dialogue, and then the control wasn't as good. This one has the control, so it, it's kind of a minor thing because you'd rather you know a good controlling game, not that the original doesn't control well. I'm just saying a, you'd rather a better controlling game, and they just kind of you know uh, remade the dialogue, which like the dialogue's still fine, but like I said, it's just not the same. So. Yeah, and the music's still good, and the, the level design is still perfect because it's still the same level design and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so it's still an awesome game, and I still love it. And Star Fox, uh, you know, like, 64 here um, is a great game as well. But if you're going to play this game and you have a 3DS, I mean, you probably have a 3DS because most people have a 3DS. Actually, I, I'm willing to bet that more people have a 3DS these days than would have a 64 to be able to play this on. Um, and, you know, if you play it on the 64, it's gonna, not going to look that great anyway. Uh, so either play it on emulation 64-wise, or what you need to do is just have your 3DS and then get Star Fox 64 3D. I don't know if it's still expensive. It used to be really expensive, this game. I got this one for, like, 20 bucks or something. At one point, because um, I sold my old one back when I sold my original 3DS or whatever. But, yeah, so, fortunately, uh, I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, hopefully it's cheap nowadays. I think they have a Selects version, so that, you know, that's pretty cool. But, um, it's, oh, sorry. 
It's basically the definitive version of this game, and I really highly recommend it. And Star Fox 64 is such a great game anyway. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a quick game, but there's so much replay value, like I said, that you're just gonna... You can pick it up anytime. Like, I, I still haven't gone through all the levels. I Obviously, there's two versions, too. You can play the, the 3DS and 64, not versions, but options on the on the screen there, um, and on the game, on the 3DS game. So, I, I still technically have to go through all of those levels on both, if I, you know, and then do all the medals and all that kind of stuff. But, um, there's a lot of replay value for you. Um, so, you know, you might just play it for a few hours, but then you can pick it up later and then play more of it. And, or, even if you feel like you've done everything you know you can always pick it up again at some point it's just a fun game to keep replaying is, is the thing um sometimes i just get the urge to go back and play star fox you know because it's awesome so yeah like i highly recommend this game um it's a great remake um and it really is a remake you know like i said earlier it's such a great remake it's it's as much as it pains me to say but i i know you know I, I'm nostalgic for the original, obviously. I've got a lot of nostalgic attachment to the original, but I know that the original has not aged as well as this remake is, you know, if that makes sense. The, the remake just has aged better. I mean, it has aged now because, man, 2011, that was nine years ago, but it doesn't feel like it's aged, you know what I mean? Like, where, whereas the original might... Might, you might feel that a bit. It feels like an N64 game. It's still a great N64 game for its time. And it still controls well. It still feels good. Uh, I'm just saying that the 3DS one is a lot better. And this is the version that I'd start recommending to people. Um, which is just crazy to me. Because, you know, it's like... The, I, the N64 version is the version that means so much to me. But this one is a great version of the game that means so much to me. So play it you know that's what i'm trying to say here um i i regard it highly if you couldn't tell so i'm gonna give it a 9.6 out of 10 um it's not perfect you know the dialogue or whatever but it's 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 a lot closer to being perfect than the original is um so yeah so go play star fox 64 3d and uh until next time this has been jz nes saying keep it classic Stick around for more reviews, underrated games, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jay-Z out.